deceive you, those spirits, but they'll twist it up. Now, for now, an example. If her, I would not bow to her. Uh, uh, yeah. go, go, go to where that right there. Huh? Who wrote Matthew? <laughs> what do you think wrote it? Matthew. This is the first Matthew. Kings chapter 2. I, I, brother, chapter I wrote my brother. Bro. And, and the go, Lord, go ahead. Yahweh Check said, this out right here. And the Lord, Yahweh said unto him. Now, look, listen to the scripture right here. Wherewith go ahead. It, he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Hold on, read, read up a little bit, you know. Because yeah, the, the Lord, put the, hey, the, the Lord says it deceived the deceiver and the deceiver on mine. Yep. So the Lord actually has certain people that are set up to deceive themselves and to deceive others. Mm. You know, hey, the scripture says, the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall in the ditch. That's because it was meant for them to. Mm. They wasn't meant to be or chose to be saved. That's the reason why you got guys that will pick up this Bible and feel as if they have some kind of zeal. Well, that's because hey, a spirit was put on them to, to go out and spread lies. Go ahead. Uh, this is First Kings 22 and 19. And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh, Lord. And I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. Go ahead. And all the hosts of heaven. And all the hosts of heaven. The angels on the right hand side and the angels on the left hand side. Standing by him on his left, right hand and on his left. Though the right hand are the, are the good angels and the, and, the, and the left side are the, are the bad angels. But they all fulfill and carry out the will of the Most High. Hey, there's a scripture that I want to say, uh, Psalms, that says that the angels rejoice at the commandments of the Most High. So if the Most High, the Most High is like the ultimate mobster, man. He got he got guys that are on the right and he got guys on the left. You got guys that are, that are on the forefront and then you got guys that are behind the scene. Those guys behind the scene, you send them to carry out the hits. That's how the Most High is. Go ahead. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab? Who shall persuade Ahab? Go ahead. That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. Ramoth Gilead. And one, uh, and one yeah. said on this matter, and another said on that matter. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord. And they came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord. So they were they were taking counsel. Okay, how are we gonna how are we gonna uh, persuade Ahab to go up and fall over Mount Gilead? And they were all taking counsel, and then one came forth and said this. Go ahead. And this, said, and this is talking about a spirit. Go ahead. And said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and be a lying spirit. In the mouth of all his prophets. I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophets. And what did the Lord tell the lying spirit? Go ahead. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Thou go shalt forth, persuade him. Go, go ahead. forth and do so. So the Lord gave him permission to do it. That's the same thing. And the scripture tells you, I want to say that Psalms, it's somewhere between Psalms 30 and Psalms 50. Maybe 55, if somebody can find it, I'm going to roughly paraphrase. It says, the angels of the Lord encamp around those that feel. A lot of times when men receive information, it was because the angels came down and, and, uh, and, and, and taught them. But that's not, that's not how it's set up now. It's set up for the prophets of the Lord to go out and to teach the, and teach the men. It's, it's set up for the, for the prophets of the Lord to go out and teach the men. But there's an angel that's dealing with those men. That's the reason why one of the scriptures we brought out earlier was Job 35 and uh, 13, 33 and 15. And it says that the, uh, in a deep sleep, when, uh, in, when, when, in the vision and the dream of the night, when deep sleep fall off upon men, that's when the Most High seal up their instructions. So there's an angel that's right there putting the instructions in the Most High in your mind. So it wasn't of your own accord to come up here today. The Most High had it already set up. Mm. You know, so when, when men come out and they speak lies, the Most High set them up to do so. Mm. You know, as well as how he set men up to teach the truth. And the truth is always going to conquer. And in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, what, what is that? Uh, in, uh, no lie can confound the truth. The truth is always going to win. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord said, uh, have put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. And the Lord said, uh, has spoken evil concerning them. So, so this is how you know that they're not a lying prophet. When it, when the thing that they speak come to pass. Here it is. We're speaking out of the words of the Most High Heavenly Father. And we're speaking of past. We're speaking of present. And we're speaking of future, man. The things that we're saying are going to happen. Why? Because it's coming out of the book of the Most High. We ain't going into something else and saying, okay, well, what's written in the book of the Most High can't be true. Because this over here, outside of the Bible, says something differently. And the scripture says, seek ye out of the book of Lord and read, man, that none, none of these shall uh, uh, want their meat, man. None of these shall fail. We're reading out of the book of the Lord. Ain't no goddamn way in hell 
then I'm gonna say, oh, the, oh, that scripture in the Bible ain't true because over here this knowledge or this 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 what I learned over here that's outside of the Bible doesn't align up with the Bible, man. I'm gonna go with what's written in here all the time, every time, man. Because then that's gonna be a because fraud, everything bro. is everything we'll is see. truth in we'll it. We'll see. You know why? We'll because see. Because this not the complete scripture that our people had. They had many books. Okay. Yeah, they, they, they did. That's this, right. They had many are, books. These are the, these are the other ones all. right here. They ain't all. Our <laughs> people were many. This is all we need. This is all we need. This is all we need. That might be all we need. Where's the conclusion of the matter? Hey, the conclusion uh, of the matter is you missing pieces of sin. You know, uh, uh, that's what it's about. Uh, uh, you missing yeah. the conclusion of the whole matter. Yeah, just like when you was look, just like this. Look, check it out, dog. Just like when we just, just had the Bible. He's trying to learn. We didn't have no apocalypse. He's trying to learn. We didn't have no apocalypse. Y'all teaching him to learn. This is brother. Y'all got learning on every other day. You stand his brother, my man. But I ain't standing my brother, bro. Hey, bro. I'm letting my man know. He actually brought me over here because, look, we didn't have a Bible. Hey, bro. He's like, oh, there go the brother. Should have shot you. I'm sorry, I never parked. Hey bro, hey, if you want to believe that, it's okay. Yourself. Because who built the pyramids is not going to say it's not. It's not. No, but when you come out of, when he come out of brother's mouth here. that's teaching the truth, what would say to be the truth? I'm looking for you for the truth. Just because you believe in Hades 100%. What did Paul say? What did Paul say? Paul is a damn lie. Paul alive. Okay. Paul is alive. <laughs> Listen, hold on. Let me prove it to you. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this. Check this out. Watch this. Is it possible you can check me, bro, so I can Paul, find out them. a couple they books I need, like the Apocrypha? They don't got to be circumcised. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Paul tell you. Don't he listen to him. those that's talking about the circumcision and genealogies, Jesus. Don't be listening to them. Can you don't listen to those that don't eat meat. That, 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 wait wait a minute. Out. I, see, now you cut me off. Bugging, we know where you're going. But well, let me finish then, because he done. So many times. Hey, when you, when you box the same boxing match so many times. Well, let me step on my stand. Hold on. Wait a minute. Listen, Paul is against the circumcision. The whole, all of his scriptures against the circumcision. You don't even know why. You don't even know why. Let me tell you Paul is a relationship. Paul is a Herodias, bro, bro. Herodias Flavius, dog. He's from the Herodias Flavius <laughs> family, bro. Paul is. Bro. bro. Yes, he is, oh, man. You get, you get very, Somebody get Romans you get nine. very emotional. He'll Somebody tell you, Romans Paul nine. will tell you Romans where he comes bro, from. I, 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 I respect your passion, bro. I <laughs> respect <laughs> it. But hold on, wait. There's well, more. Romans Hold on. Oh. Romans 4 and 9. Oh, bro, bro. Oh. Matter of fact, start at, start at 1 and then bro, go to Hell no, they don't even know. They bro, probably got to write the script. Paul ain't even write Romans in them. Check this out. Paul, 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 Paul listen. Paul was not against the circumcision, but Paul had understanding. Now, when it comes down to the circumcision, I don't wait. Oh, what I'm gonna say? Uh, we can't go say because you're gonna say Peter that Kiefer said that Paul ways was hard to understand. No, oh. no, no, brother. See, they, he did they, say that, know, bro. But the, but the scriptures say you, you you speak about the scriptures. Scriptures say uh, listen first and then rebuke. You ain't even listening. Well, I was, jumping the gun. Hold well, on, I wait, you bro. was about to say something. I wasn't about, about to say. I wasn't about to say that, ahead, brother. Bro. Go ahead. I wasn't about to say that. Now when it comes down to the law, when you when you're circumcised, then that means that you that you're basically a slave to the law. That means that you have to keep every single law. That's what Does it doesn't it doesn't that mean that? If you if you're circumcised, that means that you have to keep all of the laws. You got to win. Now, if you if you how many laws are there? 600 or something. Can you keep 613 laws without breaking one? A few of the laws are okay, bro. Keep. Okay. No, because some of them you okay. can't keep. Oh, okay. Law okay. sacrifice okay. go. That's that's, <laughs> that's 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 it. That's it. That is the point. Now, you had you had Gentiles, right? You had Israelite foreigners, right? They couldn't keep the law. Oh, we Gentiles. We, we're Gentiles. We, we're Gentiles now, but I'm talking about the ones back the then. They're just in the same place, place, in the different they, land, they just, same people. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you. So if the same thing applied to us, where we can't keep the laws now, same thing applied to them. But the point that I want to, the point that I want to make and emphasize is, you had the Israelites that were in the land of Israel that knew that they were Israelites. Right. If you sinned and you broke the law, such and commandment of the Most High Heavenly Father, what were you to do? What were you supposed to do? During which period? What, what, during the time, uh -huh. during the time when there was ex when sacrifice of animal, pigeon. There, there you go. The Thank, you. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. And you're right. You're right. You were supposed to sacrifice. Now, were the Israelites that were in the land of Israel that knew that they were Israelites allowing those Israelite foreigners to come into the land and do that? No. Nah. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. They weren't circumcised. Now, now, now that, that's the other point. They wasn't circumcised. You gotta check at the door. What time, what time period did our people 
uh, leave off from keeping the customs and, le and left themselves exactly uncircumcised. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. I think you don't have to. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 bro, bro, listen, listen over here. Look, well, around what time period did our people leave themselves uncircum uncircumcised and begin to keep the customs of the heathen? Which period? Several different periods. <laughs> well, what well, every is, time we every time we wear the main, the main, the main. Okay, thank you. That's that's good. So you had Israelites that were in other lands that were that that didn't know that they were Israelites. They were living after the mannerisms of of the other nations, right? When you go into Genesis the 17th chapter, it tells you that if oh, a man did. didn't circumcise himself on the eighth day, what was going to happen to him? I don't remember. It, it, it says that his soul shall be cut off from his people. Oh, if he don't be circumcised. If he does, yeah. he, if he does oh, circumcise. So, so you had our people that were scattered abroad. What did the Messiah come to do? Do away with the law of sacrifice. He was coming to do away with the law of sacrifice and the other laws that 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 are uh, uh, basically. Yeah. You ain't put like, your phone on there. Galatia, everything that have to do with the wow. sin. It's because he was the last. And also, <laughs> sacrifice. Right, you old text and I'm like, yeah. because it says book. that he came to uh, oh. blot out those oh. ordinances that was that, written against us. What is sixteen eleven? Sixteen eleven. You gotta have that one. Hey, I keep, I keep, I keep. One of the ordinances that was that was written against us was the fact that you had to be circumcised on the eighth day, and if you wasn't, your soul should be cut off from your people. Now you had Israelites that were trying. They would call themselves having zeal, so they were trying to keep those laws. But even though the Messiah came to be an atonement for us and to die for our sins, so that He can bring uh, all of the Israelites back in that would believe, whether they were in the land of Israel or scattered abroad, you had other Israelites that wasn't allowing them to come back because they were uncircumcised. Right. Now, why would they go and circumcise themselves if, if you being circumcised? You, you all had to live after the manner of the law. That means that you have to keep 613 laws that you did, that you can't keep. So, First of all, grab this, because we're going to deal with faith. Because was righteousness imputed unto Abraham before the circumcision or after the circumcision? No, nah, before. Go, okay, go ahead and read that in Romans. Romans chapter 4, verse 1. What shall we say then that Abraham, that Abraham our father, has pertained to the flesh of God? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath wherefore works of the law. That means that you keep of keeping keeping the laws. Now you're gonna keep the laws to the best of your ability, yeah. But but you can't keep all 613 because you're gonna, you're gonna offend in one point. Okay, thank you. So go ahead. He had wherefore to glory, but not before uh, the most high. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed the most high, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. There you go. So Abraham believed the most high, and it was accounted unto him for, for righteousness. So the same thing should apply to all of the Israelites that were scattered abroad, whether they were circumcised or uncircumcised. So go to uh go to uh Romans 2 and uh 21. Now, I, now I'm gonna show you a scripture also where Abraham, uh, I'm sorry, not Abraham, where, where I'm gonna show you a scripture where Paul went up to Jerusalem to, to, to confront the elders and to talk to them about about the situation. That 15. You, there you go, 15. Yeah, there you go. And, and what they and what they said because Peter was like, they they gotta keep the law. That's Get a, that, but no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, I'm saying he say. was like they got to keep the law of um, the dietary law, and they don't, but they don't got and, and it's a um, temple anywhere around here. They know where they can go, but they don't got to do the circumcision right now. It's, it's they can do that at a later date. That's basically what that's, he said to me. Well, well, that's what he said to you. And uh, well, you, you don't have to be sacrificed right now. But once you, I'm gonna circumcise one right now. But once you get built up onto a certain level, because because these but then they'll realize why they have to do it. These Israelites that were that were just now coming in, that were scattered abroad, that was used to the customers of the heathen, but now converting over, they wasn't deep. They wasn't they wasn't built up on, on a foundation yet. Uh, yet. Yeah. So let them be built up first. That's what that's all that that's, that's what James that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a that's a message of, of Paul too. No. Oh, go ahead. No, it wasn't. Romans chapter 2 verse 21. Now therefore which teaches another well, what you do uh, because when Paul left the um uh, nice thing, not the council, but um uh, Jerusalem Council, he went on and kept preaching the way he was preaching. He didn't ever do do what um, ja um Yaqub and um, Kepha said. He went on and kept preaching what he was preaching when he got beef with the um Jacobians before. I mean the um, Israelites before that. 
when he said those men came down from go, Jerusalem go where, where, and they were preaching yeah. according to Moses. And Paul yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, no. Go ahead, read that. This is uh, Romans chapter 2, verse 14. For when the Gentiles uh, which have not the law, which in the Gentiles which have not the law, not the law, go ahead. Do by nature the things contained See how we do in the law. Grab Acts 15 chapter. Do by nature the things contained in the law. These having not the law are a law unto themselves. Hey, believing in your in your in your Hawashai, you know the Messiah. They, they're not eating uh things sacrificed to idols. They, they're not uh, uh worshiping idols. They're not uh, putting anybody before the most, uh, putting any other God before the most High Heavenly Father. They're not, uh, they're, they're loving their brothers, you know, they're showing charity. You know, they're not committing adultery. Which ones was? You know, this is easy. I'm talking about the Israelite foreigners, the ones that were the ones scattered that abroad, okay. the, the Gentiles. All right. Go ahead. This is Acts 15 and 1. A certain man which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. So, so, so there were these, these were these were uh, different Israelite people that came that came from Jerusalem. They came from Israel, and they're going down there teaching the Israelite foreigners that you got it. You got to be circumcised. If you if you're not circumcised, then you're not saved. So it's, these cats never left Jerusalem. These is the assuming we. These are the ones that's there. They are in the game. They no, not for this. This right here. These these are men that left the land of Jerusalem to go and that, that went to where where the Israelite Antioch. foreigners were. And they were teaching, and they were teaching them that they have to be circumcised, and if they're not circumcised, they're not going to be saved. Right. Go, go back to uh, Romans uh, uh, two and twenty-seven. Go ahead. Yeah, keep reading. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem. So so these Jews are like, okay, well, uh, we think that you should go up to, to Jerusalem and talk to the heads, you know, right. you know, which were, which were Peter and James, right. uh, Peter and the Lord's brother, go ahead. Should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. So go, go up to the elders and apostles about this question, go ahead. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Venus and Samaria. You can jump down to, uh, to, the, to the points now. I think it's going to be right, like around nine, somewhere around there. No, that was important too. So that's what they taught. Same thing. Yeah, but but for the interest of time. About eight, go ahead. And the most high which knows the hearts bear the witness given this.